Are you looking to lose that belly fat and you feel like you haven't got there yet? You really want to, but it's just not happening. Well, I'm going to take care of you today. I'm going to explain to you what we need to do. But first of all, the number one thing you need to understand is the belly fat you have. That's the last place you're going to burn fat. Unfortunately, I hate it too. Trust me. I want my abs to show. I want my clients to reach their goals today. But that's the number one thing you have to understand right off the bat. That way you don't discourage yourself because motivation, we both know that's a big thing. Skinny fat is a normal thing. And what I mean by skinny fat, it's where your arms are skinny your chest is like toned your legs are skinny you're toned all that stuff but then you have that belly you have a little bit of a belly you have a little bit of belly fat where you can grab it you can feel some love handles maybe and you're like why well this comes from inconsistencies or improper training or diet going off but what i want you to understand is it's a good place to be at because you're not too far off from reaching your goals if you put in you know four to six weeks from that state then you'll be fine you're, you're gonna reach your goals so i'm gonna explain to you what kind of routine i think that you need to implement all right so here are three things that I do that's going to help me reach my goals and that's going to help me make sure I'm not skinny fat. The first thing is I lift heavy. I lift heavy, man. I really do. And what I do is I mix it up. So I'll, I'll have a heavy day. Then I'll have a high volume day. Then I'll have a rest day. I don't go heavy, 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 or I don't do high volume, high volume, high volume. I like to challenge my body. I don't want my body to know what's coming. I want to go hard. I want to reach my goals. I want to do the best I can, but I also want it to be something fresh. And you have to remember guys, your central nervous system, your body, your mind, Mind, it can't always take that beating from all that work. You have to mix it up. You have to respect yourself. And another thing is you want to focus on doing is abs. Abs. I do abs every single day for five to 10 minutes. I don't do 20, 30 minutes of abs. Maybe there will be a day where I do, you know, 15, but I try to mix it up because everything you do, cardio, lifts, it all involves your abs. You have to make sure you stretch as well. I don't just lift and then, you know, go to bed. That's it. I like to stretch personally right after five to 10 minutes and then I'll stretch a little bit before before bed. All right. So remember, lift heavy, high volume and train some abs. What's your hydration like? You want to remember that you want to drink a lot of water in order to burn fat, to add muscle for digestion purposes. You need it to sleep. You need it to avoid headaches. You know, there's a lot of different reasons that you should be drinking water. This is one I struggle with is sleep. I personally try to do so much and then I realize, oh, wait, I got to go to bed. Try to make sure, guys, that you're sleeping seven, eight hours a day, bare minimum six. I would try to get more than that. Let's address the elephant in the room here, though. There's a lot of distractions there's a lot of temptations there's a lot of things that's going to pull you away from your goal and it's just going to feel impossible to do because that temptation is always there for example i used to always want to eat chocolate i used to always want to just play games i don't want to go work out but what you have to do is sort of just a little bit push it in there so let's say with with lifting you want to make sure that you get that lift in just do a half an hour who's telling you to do two hours first do a half an hour get that in then you can do 45 minutes then you can do an hour then you start to listen to songs you like you you know you start to work out with friends you start to do things that you enjoy the workout you're doing it's your workout you don't have to do burpees all day i want you to make it likable i want you to enjoy the workout i don't want it to be something that you don't enjoy at all between me and you i want you to remember the, those temptations those cravings that are holding you back it's temporary it's not gonna work it's not gonna cut it we can't keep letting that happen first thing you gotta do going back to what we said earlier you gotta drink more water i want you to not be thirsty ever the next thing i want you to do is look into maybe doing intermittent fasting where you're watching what you're eating for eight hours and then you're fasting for 16 hours and you're focused on just getting that water in there you don't have to do that but what i want you to do is i want you to space out those meals i want you to understand that eating every hour is not something that you should get used to i like to eat every three to four hours another thing is i don't snack you'll never see me snacking when i'm watching a movie i'm drinking water it's a really bad habit to snack because bro you already you already eat meals and then you're already going to just be snacking more. We both know snacks, they're addictive. You're going to keep eating snacks. You're going to keep wanting more and more and more. I used to, hear me out, I used to have three root beers a day. I used to finish two bags of chips a day. When I was 40 pounds over, I would eat anything, bro. I would finish the whole cabinet. Don't worry about it in a day. You know, it, it's crazy. Your body can handle a lot of food. Don't just wait till I'm full. I don't do that. I eat till like 80, 90% full and then I drink some water and boom, I'm full. You want to kind of be more conscious of that because it's really easy to overeat so make sure that you space your meals out you get your carbs earlier in your day you make sure that you split up your fats still get your fats in there your body needs fats i'm not saying don't get fats but you do understand there's fats in everything right there's fats in meat there's fats in veggies there's fats in literally any food out there so don't just think oh i need fats today i'm gonna go eat a mars bar or something that's not the way that it's gonna work so i want you guys to start to reward yourself in different ways where you go okay you know what it's a saturday i did 
reserve Mars bar, a big steak pizza with my friends. Sure, that's fine by me. So I want it to be more controlled eating. I want you guys to be more self-aware. And I think we're going to reach those goals. Eating food, it's not a hobby. It's not for fun. It is strictly fuel. It took me a really long time to understand this. Any workout is better than no workout. Remember that. Don't be skipping meals now. That's another thing. Please, 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 please don't be hard on yourself. Don't tell yourself, you know, you suck or you got to do this better. Or we're not there yet and start to compare yourself to others. I did all that. I would compare myself to you. I would compare myself to someone else. I would keep comparing and be like, oh, I'm not there yet. Or, you know, I beat this person. Now I got to beat this next person. It doesn't work that way. You have to remember you are fighting against yourself. I want to be better than my yesterday. There are things that I'm happy about, but then there's things that I'm not happy about. And you want to keep moving forward to getting there. Okay. When you find something that works for you, don't switch it up with fitness. You're going to find it's a lifestyle. It's a journey. It's a marathon. It's not something that's just going to happen like this. And that's hard to understand. The nicest thing is you are building what you see. And that's the best thing. Once you get that dream body, I know you're going to get that dream body you want, but it's a matter of will you do the work. But once you get it, it's insane. You're like, I built this. I did this. Even if you have a trainer, even if I'm training you, you still did the work. I guided you. Sure. But you still did that work. So do not do not put yourself down. I know you felt that video. I know you understand what I'm talking about. So I want you now. Now is the time today to go start your goals, journaling, everything. You know what I'm talking about. Workout, diet. It is the time now to start because we are not no longer saying tomorrow. It is now. Hope you enjoy that video. I care about you, man. Have a good one.